we go. Um, so that's day one is a wrap, and hopefully uh, I don't break the power of the GoPro and miss some of the footage from uh, tomorrow, and it'll be a good day. We'll look for a full tournament recap, and uh, I don't know, cross fingers that we knock this out. Stay tuned. Baby keeper. That was supposed to be a big one. Is that a good one? Oh, sounds good. Huh? Take four more like that in order to shoot them. <laughs> This one yesterday, it's got a hole in his lip. God, I caught a lot of them. I also think yesterday, if I got tighter to one of the walls, I was more likely to get tight. Had to get up under there, uh, right tight to him. It seemed like I'm more likely to get tight if I was tight to one of the walls. Right? Yeah. Because they were tight to the walls, or if they just felt like they could pin it, you know? I like, think that's probably how they feed there, you know? They just trap stuff against the wall. Yeah, use the wall to trap it. It's a little less fast and furious, but. Good? Hot tick. Oh, 
kind of hoping this north wind there'd be a little more push through there. There's a couple good fish in there still doing some work. They're doing something. Those aren't bluegills. No. <laughs> Just keep your, your string straight back there. What's that? Good one. Yeah. Not a bad one. Ow. Beating you up back there? Mama? This looks like the one I lost yesterday. Nice catch! Number five. One of them's pretty small. <laughs> Everybody else had their right to find this spot. <laughs> I was going to do a color change anyway. So. You're going to get one on that cast. There's all kinds of things that out here. Most of them are still fish. Good. Got a pretty good baseline for the day now. All right, so we are wrapping up the uh, TBF TOC from Lake Minnewaska. I thought I recorded a video that night, fresh and raw, but it evidently didn't take on my phone. So here we are uh, with the new GoPro because I broke my GoPro on the night before day two. So we only had about an hour, hour and a half of video before my battery died, uh, and the old GoPro died. So only going to see, you know. A few of my fish catchers, you're going to miss a few calls. Um, we're going to recap, wrap things up here super quick. So most of the damage we did catch on video because I caught them pretty early on that culvert. Um, and uh, that got most of my weight. I made a few good calls later in the day. Uh, smallies on a big Reaction Innovations, Reaction Innovations Vixen. Um, I probably caught six or eight nice smallies on it, but only one or two of them actually helped me upgrade. But they were just absolutely crushing it. So it's unfortunate that we did not get that on video because it was some pretty sweet catches. So... Uh, that, um, the other thing that, uh, that got bit was, uh, for me, I caught a couple key fish and my big fish on day one on a 3 8 ounce Bass Tech jig. I was on both Green Pumpkin Black Brown and Okeechobee Craw, and then both of those, I was using a, uh, a Green Pumpkin Sapphire, Green Pumpkin Blue Fleck, uh, Menace Scrub as a trailer. Nice compact, uh, trailer. It skips real well. That was fish mostly around docks and reeds. Uh, I tried it on weed lines as well. Um, and then the bait that caught, I don't know, I guess about seven of my keepers 
was uh, throwing this wacky rigged uh, Maxent General in kind of a green pumpkin fleck color uh, using a, a weedless uh, Nico style hook. I'll make sure I'll put links to all this stuff down in the description so you know exactly what I'm using. Um, fishing that on a spinning rod with braid. Um, those setups, um, you know, so for me, I just got this new 703 Fury from Dobbins uh, paired with a 4000 Daiwa Fuego spinning reel. Uh, using 20 pound braid to about a 10 pound floral for that wacky rig. It worked perfect. It was the ideal setup to make super long skips back in that collar. That was the key to getting those bigger bites. That was super important. Um, that was not something I planned to catch a lot of fish on. It's something I tried in practice and caught a few fish. There was nothing big in there when I just sampled it in practice. It was a place I thought I could get in there, get a quick limit, settle my nerves, and then just kind of grind out a good bag, fishing deep and a little bit of shallow the rest of the day. I really thought, based on my practice, that I would catch a lot of quality largemouth fishing on deeper weed lines. Um, I sampled some of that in the tournament, and it just really didn't pan out. You'll see I catch a few fish flipping, I catch a few fish on jig worms, but it never really turned out to be deal the deal for me, and I never really got on them. I also had a few smally spots, um, and those never really panned out in the morning, but I did catch some fish, uh, some decent smallies on day two. The jig setup with a Dobbins 705 uh, Extreme. It's the perfect rod for flipping uh, docks. I paired that with the new uh, Shimano SLX, uh, eight to one gear ratio with 20 pound uh, floral. Um, and for me, that's the ideal setup for dock. Seven foot at my height is a really great dock rod. It's short enough that I can skip, I can be accurate. It gives me all the length for big hook sets and the power I need to get those fish out. You can see I had complete control on a few big fish I caught on a jig. So that was kind of the deal. I ended up in the tournament kind of working that culvert over a little bit after I caught my limit, which was pretty small on day one, and I kept working it and eventually catch, caught bigger and bigger fish. Um, and once I got up to a big bag and they kind of stopped biting, then I would go fish all the rest of my stuff. And that's what I did on day two, and it was almost enough for a win. In the end, I came up a tenth of a pound short from taking on the victory and ended up second place. A pretty nice paycheck. I'm headed down to lacrosse in September for the semis, which is the most important thing. That gives me a chance. I'm one turn away from the TVF National Championship. So. That being said, a tenth of a pound would have been awesome. A win would have been nice. But in the end, uh, we're moving on. We got a good check, and we had a good tournament. So next video uh, after this will be the uh, should be the Island Lake Bass Nation TOC practice, followed up by that tournament as well. You're not going to want to miss that. It's a very interesting lake. Um, so hope you learned a few things. Hope you, help you suck less. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Halabass, and we'll catch you next time.